Hello, oh, Tutu, and good morning, Blue Devils. I'm Alex Brock. And I am Venus Bernat. And here are your morning sports and activities announcements for Thursday, February 15th. We open up with congratulating the boys and girls wrestling programs as they both competed this past weekend in the IHSA sectionals. The boys were at Barrington High School, and the results are now in as Warren Township will be setting a school record six wrestlers to the individual state wrestling tournament being held tonight through this Saturday at the University of Illinois Champaign. Warren's previous school record of five state qualifiers was set five years ago during the 2018 season. Senior Jeremiah Hickson placed fourth and had an incredible last second takedown in order to make his way into the state tournament. Jeremiah displayed a lot of grip by battling with and then defeating an opponent, uh, uh, an opponent he had lost to La lost to on three prior occasions this season. Junior Anthony Soto placed fourth in the sectional in order to earn his first trip to the state tournament. Congratulations, Soto. Junior Jonathan Marquez will make his second trip to Champaign after making it to the sectional tournament finals last weekend. Mar Marquez has the experience and the poise to make it onto the top of the podium in Champaign, and we are excited to watch him wrestle. Finally, the wrestling team will were led by a trio of sectional champions who have led through their example of toughness this entire season. Caleb Noble entered the varsity lineup this season with a great deal of wrestling experience. Caleb's performance, just his freshman season, is mature beyond his years as he vanquished to the top rated wrestler in the state in his weight class in order to win the sectional championship. Sophomore Royce Lopez will wrestle with a chip on his shoulder after his sectional championship. Royce lost in the match before placing at the state tournament last season. He looks to continue his scoring groove and upbeat pace on his way to a state title. And finally, returning state place winner Aaron Stewart has had nothing but a state title on his mind all season. After his third place finish a year ago at state, Aaron has been on a mission to take his way to the top of the podium and earn his first place title. Best of luck this weekend in Champagne Boys and Go Blue Devils! This past weekend, the Lady Grapplers competed in the IHSA sectional tournament at Evanston High School with the prize being a state qualifier for the third year in a row. Warren advanced three wrestlers to compete in the sectional tournament, including sophomore Jane Kelly and junior Ashley Fugelseth. Jane Kelly wrestled a great tournament but came up sh just short in her bid to be a state qualifier. Ashley wrestled a terrific tournament but lost in the blood round just before making it to state. Ashley will head off to Bloomington as an alternate in the tournament next weekend. In the end, it was junior Alyssa Bridges making the finals and punching her bid to the IHSA State Tournament next week in Bloomington Normal. Alyssa went into the tournament as a non-seated wrestler. However, the experts were wrong as Alyssa won her first three matches and advanced to the finals. Congratulations to Alyssa for making it to the IHSA State Wrestling Tournament. Best of luck this weekend. We would like to wish sophomore Nora Werner of the girls varsity gymnastics team who will compete downstate this weekend at Palatine High School. She qualified for floor exercise. Best of luck, Nora. Warren's Swim and Dive wrapped up the regular season with an exciting two days. They are still trying to confirm some historical data, but it is believed that this year was their best team finish in over eight years. JV finished fourth overall and varsity finished third overall in the North Suburban Conference. The swimmers had an early start competing in the highly competitive NSC meet at Lake Forest High School. Here is a list of some of the accomplishments the team had at Lake Forest. In the 50 free varsity, Billy Lawing became the NSC conference champion with a time of 21.72 seconds, which also happens to be the IHSA state qualifying time. Amazing job by Billy. In the 100 free varsity, Nate Thiemeyer came in second place with a time of 48.05 seconds. The 200 free relay team came in second place, which included Evan DeVito, Nate Thiemeyer, Billy Long, and Reed Thiemeyer with a time of 1 minute 28.61 seconds. In the 400 free relay, our varsity team took second place behind Billy Lawing, Nate Thiemeyer, Evan DeVito, and Reed Thiemeyer with a final time of 3.18.24 seconds. Finally, the NSC Sportsmanship Award went to Hayden Cottrell. Congratulations to these boys and their coaches. Best of luck this weekend at sectionals. 
Congratulations to our varsity girls basketball team as they defeated Grant High School in the regional semifinal Monday night. By the final score of 59 to 40, leading the way was Nari Powers with 28 points, Mariah Phelps with 11 points, Shea Love with 10 points. The Blue Devils will face Libertyville High School tonight at 6 p.m. for the regional championship. This will be the fourth meeting between the two teams this year. Come out and support the ladies as they look to cut down the nets tonight. Last Friday night, the boys varsity basketball team honored their five seniors versus Zion Benton. They improved to 26-4 and four on the season as they defeated the ZVs by the final score of 77-40. to 40. Leading the way was Jackson Davis with 22 points, Jack Wolf had 9 points, Manny Brown, Alex Daniels, and Josh Stewart each had 7 points apiece. Drew Stacey and Jakari Nab each had 6 points in the victory. Congratulations to the Science Olympiad team who had another successful tournament last Saturday at Loyola Academy. Our two teams were in separate divisions, but out of 45 teams total, Warren placed in the top 10 in 14 of the 23 events. Leading the way with second places in their respective divisions were Anaya Saravanan and Safa Waris in Fossils, Ravir Singh and Chloe Dossel in Write, Write It, Do It, and Annabelle Kilman and Kai Dennis in Dynamic Planet. Coming away with a first place medal in disease detectives were Rania Hamid and Sidra Muhyiddin. Great job, everyone. The entire team has been improving all season and the next step is regionals on March 2nd, where they will take on many strong teams, including the defending national champion, Stevenson, Globe Blue Devils. Now for some activity and club announcements. We are joined by Nadia Odella. Hello, I am the social media manager for the environmental club here, Mother Earth's Concerned Students, also known as MEX. I've been working with the Solid Waste Agency of Lake County, Swelco, to set up a shoe collection drive at the Almond campus. Please tie the shoelaces or rubber band your pairs of old shoes together if possible and bring them to the Almond main office. The only shoes not accepted are ice skates, wet or moldy shoes, rollerblades, and specifically winter boots. Thank you for your help reducing unnecessary waste and reach out to at WTHSMEX on Instagram if you have any questions. Pride Club will be meeting this Thursday after school in the Devil's Den large conference room. New members are always welcome. The next tech team meeting is today, February 15th. They will meet after school at O'Plain in room 258 from 325 until 405. All are welcome, bring a friend or two, and late bus passes will be provided. Any girls interested in trying out for girls softball this spring should attend an informational meeting today, February 15th, in the Old Plain Cafeteria by the windows at 3.30. We will go over requirements needed to try out as well as the tryout schedule. Please try to register online before this meeting. Late bus passes will be available. If you cannot attend, please contact Coach Sharps. Boys volleyball tryouts will be March 4th through 6th at the Almond campus for all levels. Monday's tryout will be from 4 to 7 p.m. Students must be registered prior to the first tryout date and must have a physical on file with the campus nurse. Check the Varsity webpage for all tryout information. There are some additional announcements that could not make the program which can be found on the district homepage or on Canvas. Be sure to check these announcements out. That's all for today. Remember, no school next Monday and we will see you with our next video announcements next Thursday as we recap all of our athletes and teams competing in the IHSA playoffs. Best of luck to all of them this weekend and next week. Remember, we are respectful, resilient, engaged, now and always. Go Blue Devils! Devils.